Welcome back to Stone Block. That's not Sky Block and it's not C Block, it's Stone Block. That's right. So, Stone Block, uh, I went and did a few more things off camera. First of all, apples turn out to be a really good food source as long as you actually cook them. Uh, however, I did make an apple sapling. It doesn't seem to respond to shift, etc., to grow, whereas normal trees do. Once I turn off sticky keys in Windows, which would really annoy you if I didn't turn sticky keys off, you know, incredibly low, loud beep. In any case, uh, we are going to have to wait for that to grow. If indeed it does grow, if not, then, you know, don't worry, we'll probably get some bone meal fairly soon. I did craft an oak crucible. Now, these are straightforward in that they'll just take any plant matter and instead of, you know, in Skyblog, you expect these to turn into compost, you know, that kind of thing. Nope, it turns into water. So we have a bucket worth of water in there. Just no, just no actual bucket yet. So we'll have to get to that this episode. Before that, I thought I'd just make a, a quick... Um, very, very simple stuff using tinkers. I just want to get some flint. Uh, let me just get a few of those. And we will just make a, an easy tool. Uh, I've got the axe head hat pattern and we should but just use sticks for the next bit. So that's not much of a problem. Uh, let me just, um, whoops, there we go. So a stone axe head we could use or we could make a flint axe head. Let's see which, uh, minus speed, well, it's an axe, so it shouldn't really much matter either way. Eh, slightly faster. Let's take that and then just combine it to make a axe. Now, we can't get to the higher end Tinker's stuff yet, but... Uh, oh, our axe needs, also needs a, a binding. We're going to need a binding pattern. Yeah, so we can't get to the hammers or anything yet, so we need the, the tool forge for that. But in the meantime... We're fine getting this. Uh, let's just make a wood binding. Um, that will do. Did I make a wood binding? Oh, I made two. Never mind. We'll need another one anyway. Um, axe. There we go. Uh, tool rod. Ugh. It actually does need me to make another stick. I used them all up. Fine. Tool rod should just be a stick. Oh, it actually needs a tool rod now. Fine. That used to be a shortcut. I quite like the idea of making <laughs> using sticks instead of uh, actually... Uh, there we go. So it just needs two sticks instead of one. Fine, no problem. There we go. Flint. Hatchet. Okay, and I can just knock this down. There we go. Fine. I'll put another one here just so I can grow regular... Uh, sort of uh, where I need wood from, from trees in this room. And in the other one, of course, we've got the, the apple um, tree. Okay, what else am I going to need? First of all, I crafted a couple of things. One was a compressed stone hammer right here. Another one was a compressed crook. Uh, these are part of X Compressum. And the compressed crook gives you the ability to drop more uh, saplings from when from trees, etc. Compressed hammer, however, is more useful. So if we just uh, make, um, I don't balance. How do I change this? Can I? Ah, shift. That's there we go. So we can make a compressed cobblestone, and uh, let's just spread that out. There we are. Just take some regular kind. That just saves us some time because with compressed cobblestone, we can lay this out just like regular cobblestone, but then we can hammer it without all the waiting or without all the layout of much more. Uh, there we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. And if we grab the compressed stone hammer, all that gets converted into gravel almost immediately, which is great. Uh, I also did remember how to actually look up stuff in NEI. It's the U key uh, for the recipes. So on the sieve, you can see the recipes. So if we just have a look at uh, this sieve. Yep, um, actually. Mm, oh, let's try U. Will you give me the recipes? No, they'll probably be on the mesh. So let's try U. Well, since I've selected it. Okay. So if we go across the heavy sieve here, you can see the recipes for flint stiff and mesh. And what really happens uh, throughout this thing is that each tier of mesh as you go up either changes what you're actually going to get or it adds additional chance and some extra possible things. So in the case of flint stiff and mesh, let's go through to so compressed sand, for instance. We can get um, iron ore, uh, chance 
is 40%. Uh, so, yeah, we'd need a heavy sieve for that, though, rather than a regular sieve. So can I change to a regular sieve? No. Okay, let's keep going through here. These are just heavy sieve recipes. Can I get a, a normal sieve? Uh, uses? The... Okay, 25 pages. This is more like it. So, string mesh. You'll see with dirt we get lots of stuff, but if we go up through this, you'll see it adds on additional things that we can get. So if we go through to uh, sand, I think is probably the first useful. In fact, well, dust is one useful thing. So you get gold, silver, nickel, etc., and bone meal from dust. But if we go up through the actual sieves, you'll see we also get other stuff on top of that. So the iron stiffened mesh. Now, I think what I actually want to do is to get to sand, but with the iron stiffened mesh. So you see here we get iron. Drop chance of one is 30%. But if we go up to the next mesh, drop chance is 40%. Drop chance is 50%, and you also get some of these other things as well. The downside of that is, of course, that they can drop any of these, I guess. So um, whether whether they're exclusive or not, I don't know. I think you can get more than one thing dropping. But it does look like we want iron stiff and mesh anyway, because the drop chance is 50%. Uh, so that looks good. And then the diamond one, well, we've not got diamond yet, but we can get 60% if we decide to do that. The other thing we can do is actually put multiple of these sieves next to each other. So let's just grab, let me, can I get that? Oh, I need to just grab an empty hand. So I get the mesh back out. And we can put multiple of these next to each other. I don't have a, well, we could put them in the floor. Um, I suppose that's one option. Um, why don't we put them here? I'm not sure if you can go up to like nine or I'm not sure how how far away this works, but you can put multiple sieves next to each other and have them all work with the same right click. So it improves the speed quite significantly. Uh, let's look at the quest book and see what we need to do to get um, the iron mesh, uh, iron stiffened mesh. So if I just go to back to meshes, what does that actually take? I presume I have to get iron. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get some iron pieces regardless, which means the highest one I can currently get to is flint stiffened mesh. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not too bad. I don't, I don't mind that in that that's sort of working your way up sort of approach. Uh, so we are going to want another sieve and then to get going. So uh, sieves, first of all, do I have everything I need for them? Looks like I do. I may need some more... Need some more sticks, so let's just make a few more of those. And I'm not sure why I put that there, but uh, we will just grab. Uh, I want to test to see if it can go one block away as well. So I'm actually going to remove that block. And then well, I'll put these sieves in here. I don't sink into them, so it's fine to have them as floors looks a bit odd but other than that that's okay and then I need some flint now and I've got two pieces but we need four per so let's just get one two and then I'm gonna need 12 yeah I'm gonna need 12 so let's just get that I've got enough string now so we can just craft this up flint stiffened mesh one two three on, ah, they don't stack. There we go. All right, it's, it's offset by one, I know. <laughs> I want it to be centered around this, but then I don't have crafting tables, so I may well have to put them anywhere. But uh, let's see if this actually works. So what did we say we were actually going to get from this? Uh, uses of flint, uh, that's the heavy one. Why do I get heavy every time? I don't know, that's odd. Anyway, let's uh, get to the sand. It's the sand I want. We can take the iron ore pieces, convert them into iron ore chunks. And I think we just need to burn the iron ore chunks, uh, smelt it even to get iron ingots. For which we're going to get buckets and stuff like that. So I just need iron for iron ore pieces, really, which means I need sand, first of all. And that step is, again, fairly easy in that we can probably compress the gravel. Uh, let's just comp compress the two of you and get compressed gravel. Put there's only 14, but we're going to get quite a bit of this. There we go. And compressed hammer. 
compressed dirt. Hopefully there is a compressed dirt, otherwise I'm going to be laying this out for a while. Um, there is a compressed dirt, good, another 14. And that should take us into sand. And from this point onwards, I'm not really going to be showing any hammering that I'm doing, uh, ideally. I will, however, just do this in this case. I think we can use compressed sand, but then that does need the heavy sieve. So if I just go to here and go to the sieve, it's 41 pages, but you'll see uh, in here, there's the sand. We do have a chance of seven at 40%. So you can sieve it quickly, but of course you will not get as many different variety, I suppose, because you'll have less compressed sand. So for the moment, yep, that does work. Good. I wonder how, f what the range is of that then? Uh, does that look diagonal? It does. So that means I can put nine down here and uh, I'd be tempted to even try five by five then of these instead of a three by three. Because three by three should work just fine. And uh, yeah, so what are we up to? We're up to, is there any iron yet? Iron, yes, we do have enough for one piece of iron. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna cut forward until I get enough Ugh, I'm going to have so many storage problems with this. <laughs> In fact, I've got enough iron now. Let's just get rid of all of those. Uh, cactus seeds. So if you want to start uh, doing that, that is fine. And then I will just create iron from this. Put that in here. And uh, I'll give it a few sticks. And we're pretty much going to get enough iron from that for a bucket which will then let us move this out and then generate more. I, of course, should only need one more if there's if we can just set up an infinite water pool in one of the corners somewhere. Um, maybe under here? Let's give this a go. Um, let me just move this out. And get that done. This is assuming that the bucket is a regular recipe and not one of those expert mode recipes, which we all we all clearly love so much. Yep, we require hardware. Let's just get the bucket going. Ah, oh, bucket. <laughs> it's quite easy to get to in this pack. In, uh, in expert mode packs, it can be really not, not easy. Uh, we can use leaves, but I've got plenty of saplings for this, so I don't need to make any shears or anything, and we'll just leave that alone. I should probably make more of those as well while I'm at it, um, just so I've got a reserve. Uh, although, we only need one more, really, before we get infinite water. Well, hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah, that will be a very short-term thing, but you'll see the animation going on there. The leaves are going down, or the saplings in this case, and the fluid's going up. All right, so what do we need to do from that point? We've got water. Uh, we're going to need... Oh, for, let's, let's take a look at the quests. Does it give us anything specific for that? It gives us a loot box, a loot chest, even. Can ask us to make a mob farm at some point. I don't have stuff for that yet. Uh, we can build that. Automated mob farm. Lava generation. We've got water. We should get lava. That's a good thing to go for. Crucible. Oh no, here we go. Crucible needs clay. I'm all certain the crucible will need clay. Uh, let's just see what reward we get for this. We get more of those viaducts. Oh, I've got, I think I've got about... I've got quite a yeah, I've got quite a few of those now. I'm, in my test world, I have. And in this world, I don't. But, uh, yeah, they are just random drops. Okay. And let's just actually take the last of those out. So I've got a chest somewhere with them all in. That'll do fine. I want to head towards automating the, uh, the sifting as much as possible, as soon as possible. So then, uh, unfired crucible... Unfired clay barrel, unfired porcelain barrel, unfired crucible. Needs porcelain clay, which needs clay and bone meal. Bone meal we can get from dust. So that just means me compressing more stuff into dust levels and then, you know, putting it back through the sieve. Clay, on the other hand, I looked at this slightly uh, last episode, but didn't find anything obvious. At least not until mystical agriculture, which is some ways from here. Um, clay ore, no. Is there any good way to get clay? Batania is right out. Um, no. Hmm, clay. Do I get the stuff? It's got to be from one of the sifting. It has to be. Uh, let me just double check. 
Ah, there we go, that looks more promising. So, um, if I put a water bucket in a stone barrel with dust, I get clay. Okay, that's... Uh, they used to be one of the hidden recipes. I'm almost sure it used to be hidden in Skyblock. There used to be other ones like Witch Water and various different other different recipes that you just couldn't get to very easily. So that one's just going to need stone and stone slabs. So let's make the stone slabs. And is it uh, this enough? No. Does it need to be cooked? Maybe? So clay... Clay... Uh... I've lost the recipe now. Stone barrel. Easy enough. <laughs> Let's get this recipe. Chisel stone. Is it just the cook stone? It looks like it. Fine. That's okay and straightforward. So let's just cook up. How many of these are we going to need? Uh, depends if it's instant to get that water or not. So let's just put six. Uh, let me just put 12 in. There we go. And uh, let's cook that up for now. Have you finished with... You have... Can I get easy infinite water? Yes! Good. <laughs> I'm so used to expert mod packs that make you just crawl along that uh, it, it's it's so much of a nice thing to... Uh... In fact, hang on. Does this, this let me just... Re requires regular stone for the slab. Uh, does that mean it will take cobblestone? If we just use the regular stone slabs. No, it still needs cooked stone. Fine. Okay, so let's wait for that to finish cooking, which is going to need more um, combustibles. Uh, I sort of want to maybe to think about um, mini coal. Is mini coal in this pack? No. Mini coke? Coke pieces? Uh, coal, coke. Well, we'll get to that later. For now, I'll just use sticks and we'll we'll get to something better later. Put that in there. I'm going to cook that up, get the barrel, and we'll come back. Okay, one stone barrel. And let's put it next to the water barrel-ish. And I'll just fill that back up. In fact, I don't need to fill that back up, do I? Because we've got infinite water now. So we're just going to need dust. Uh, for that, we're just going to compress some sand, I think, because I'm going to need dust in general. But maybe not as much. Let's just uh, create, yeah, four of it. That'll do fine. And put that down. Go back to my compressed stone hammer, and we get lots of dust. Okay, so this should let me make clay. Um, I think we may need to fill it up first, if I remember rightly. Yeah. I should probably put this next to the water source, shouldn't I? And is that immediately clay? It is immediately clay. Uh, can I move this? Or oh, is it going to basically break? That doesn't that doesn't look right. <laughs> mm, I'm going to need a pickaxe. Let me just make a pickaxe head. Uh, need some. Yeah, this early stage of the game is a lot about just building up early infrastructure, and uh, we can do that fairly quickly because I'm sure you've seen all of this before. And you won't need that sort of thing. Uh, let's just get that going. And uh, we'll get some gravel going. And we can get a flint pickaxe head. And is that going to need another binding before I actually go and make that? Uh, yes, it is. So I've got a binding. I just need another tool rod. I guess we could make a flint tool rod, but the durability will be terrible if we did that. So <laughs> instead, let's just make another wooden tool rod and get ourselves a very, very early, probably very terrible pickaxe. There it goes. So can I break that without problems? Please tell me that I gave me the barrel back. It did. Good. <laughs> okay, let's put this by our infinite water source so I'm not carrying that around everywhere. And uh, then we should be okay to go. So I can just do this and get... Is it a full clay block we get? It is. So that means we can get eight of the small clay blocks which is fairly good. I could also get... Uh, let me put some stuff in a chest first. I think I can now just get the other component for porcelain clay, which is bone meal, just by doing this. So let's give this a go. Did I get any bone meal? Uh, I got crushed black quartz. Uh, 
Let's see what the most efficient way of getting bone meal is, because it depends. Of course, it is two words. Bone meal. Yeah. Uh, we want sieves. Sieves, please. Regular sieves. Um, we get 10% chance from dust. E, that's horrible. 15% chance from flint. 20 from that. Okay, so I think... Yeah, we're going to need one of those iron stiffened meshes, at least one. And that would probably be useful to get a better drop chance for the bone meal. Otherwise, we're going to be going through a lot of dust. So instead, uh, let me just put that away. And I'm just going to get rid of those. And uh, let's go back to... Is it sand? Was it sand? Let's see. Yes, it was sand. We'll get iron from that. Okay, and so with the iron, we can make mesh. And that one is going to be this. Iron stiff mesh. And with that, I'm not sure yet yeah, we're going to get the achievement. But second of all, if I put something in that, will it then spread to the others as well? No. Okay, that's actually quite good. And uh, yeah, that doesn't mean I may need more iron, however. <laughs> Uh, are we actually getting anything useful? Oh, well, I've got gold ore pieces. I'll put another chest here just so we got some of this stuff from the sand. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep sieving off camera and hopefully I'm going to get some. Oh, there's some bone meal right now. There's another piece. Yep, that's just typical. So I'm going to want, uh, I want to say seven pieces because we're going to need seven pieces of porcelain and then that will turn into unfired um, crucible. So. One second while I repetitively hold, repetitively hold down the right mouse button. Okay, here we go. I've got eight pieces, so let me just leave one piece aside, I grab some clay, turn that into porcelain clay, and is that uh, I actually need to make the entire crucible from here, I would have thought, on fire crucible, yep. And then we're going to get to the regular crucible. Uh, just a brief note, by the way, for people watching, I'll probably be recording uh, quite a few of these ahead of when you're seeing them. So I don't be normally I only do it the day before, but I want to have a few of these episodes ahead um, and record a bit more efficiently for this series, um, if indeed we continue with the series. So it will be um, just be aware that when you're making comments, I may not comment on them as I normally do with feedback until a couple of episodes down down the line. Okay. So, for Crucible, uh, we actually want to just smelt it, it seems. Nothing special to prepare it. And let's just get... Excuse me, I've got hiccups now. Let's just get that sorted and then put all this other stuff away uh, that we get from sifting into this, um, this double chest. We've got some redstone already. Um, I may well get that flint back, but uh, we can just put all this other stuff away, I think. There's nothing else in here that we, we need for the moment. Okay, are you finished? You are good. Now, what can we use as a heat source? We used to just cheese this by just putting a... Uh, wow, that's a texture error on the bottom of my toolbar. It's fine here, but not... Ah, what on earth is going with that? Anyway, uh, as I was talking about heat sources, we used to just be able to use a torch underneath. I'm just going to... Um, can we actually do that? Uh, to make lava. So if I just, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but um, I guess I'll just put it here and put this on top. Okay, is that actually heating up or is it going to heat up? Let's see if I can load this with cobblestone. Where did that cobblestone go? Ah, there we go. Looks like it is. Yeah, I mean, it's not doing very fast. I will grant you that much, and we may need to load this up with more, uh, more solid, more cobblestone. But it is actually melting. That, that torch is amazing. The magic torches in Minecraft that they just um, have, I don't know, infinite heat with a small amount of transfer area or something. Yeah, temperature works weird in Minecraft. Anyway, <laughs> not that it works any better in Station is, but that's uh, that's by the by. So that's going to have to wait for a little while while that's going. Um, is there anything else? Let's just claim that reward. And let's claim this one while we're at it. Do we get anything useful? Any more tools along the line of that hammer would be great. Uh, no, we're not touching that. Uh, tier 3 chance pendant increases the chance of chance cubes. 
<laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Let's just put anything to do with chance cubes away. You don't want them. Uh, they will. They can give a very good time, but more than likely a very bad time. So let's not do that. And back to the uh, back to the quest list. Uh, we're gonna head into the Nether. Oh my, that's just gonna need obsidian. I wonder if the Nether is gonna be all stone. That's an interesting one. I would have thought it'd be probably uh, more like a regular Nether though. Hopefully, cobblestone generator tier one. Uh, that will be obviously more beneficial than us actually building a. A cobble gen, you know, you have to have lava and all things all over the place. So a cobblestone generator, let's see what that takes. And tier one. Okay, so it needs two buckets. I'm gonna have to make another one anyway. And then it looks like some white stained well, it says white stained glass, but will it take any any glass? Um well, we can give it a try with any glass. It just needs a bit of sand and we'll cook that up and we'll see whether that helps us. In the meantime, however, I'm going to need more sand anyway because uh, essentially I need more iron. OK, so I'm back to sieving again and uh, I'll do that off camera. OK, so here comes the end of the lava. Um, that should fill one bucket, hopefully. And I hope this crucible can be moved if you can't, we'll have to make another one. That's not really a problem. But ideally, I think the next step you normally take with this, if I remember rightly, is to take this first lava and not make the cobblestone generator, but really reuse this as the heat source. So we're not having to wait for a torch. <laughs> so here it comes. And hopefully that should be one bucket of lava. It is. And we get that. Will this actually break? And let me pick it back up again. Good, it will. All right. And then we're going to put that lava back down here. Yeah, it can be a little bit noisy, so you want to replace it later with something better. But this should let us uh, do this, and that is uh, significantly faster. It will take a little while still to actually do that, but uh, it should be OK. And, uh, you know, once that's got another bucket, we can... Yeah, I've got the bucket back. Good. <laughs> we can make the cobblestone generator, which should stop our need to actually uh, go and mine stuff for, for stone. And in fact, I'm going to test whether actual bone meal works on that uh, apple sapling because it's not really growing. It's not really under you know the sun or anything. It does, so, uh, and obviously our twerking animation does not. Uh, I guess we can run around it. Nope, no, no effects going on. So just true bone meal will actually work for that. That's fine. I've made some glass up. So all we really need now is a bucket of lava. So that's already a quarter of the way through. Uh, is there any way of seeing what the heat sources are like? Um, crucible. Let's see if there's any heat source accessible for us. Uh, heat sources. So <laughs> we're not getting to Awakened Draconium yet. Uh, Mega Torches will... It's also... Uh, is that renamed? That's from Torchmaster. I remember those being uh, torches from Extra Utilities, I want to say. Uh, Eulorium is 20 times. Uh, can we actually get to Eulorium yet? Uh, I would assume not, but it's worthwhile checking. Yellorium dust. Can we get it out of a regular sieve? We can, with sand and an iron stiffened. So we can get from Yellorium dust into Yellorium, from Yellorium into Yellorium block, and that does it 20 times. So that is actually accessible at the moment, just take a little bit more time. Lava, as you see, is only three times. Uh, plutonium, superheating element, yeah. Uh, torches is one time, so that's the basic speed. A flint and steel, uh, so if you set something on fire like a log, is five times, however. That's interesting. So you could, instead of using lava, you could uh, set something on fire, but you need nether rack for an infinite fire. Uh, so we don't have the, the nether yet. So uh, the best is Eulorium, I guess, for the moment. What's a mega torch that needs diamonds? We don't have diamonds. So yeah, Eulorium or just leave with lava for the moment. That's nearly done now, so we'll get that ready. Uh, the recipe for this is something like this. Uh, or is it the other way around? I think it's the other way around, this way. I could use a rotate grid button, actually. I forgot that's even there. That didn't used to exist. Uh, what was I going to say? Yes, so water bucket, glass, and then lava. Uh, which you should be able to get uh, in about three seconds. There we go. 
and make sure I don't accidentally pour that over myself. Cobblestone generator. It only holds 32 blocks, makes one cobblestone block every 40 ticks. Can output to an inventory above and it can output to a hopper below. So let's actually just make, let's get our buckets back, um, get myself a little bit more wood. Uh, let's convert quarter stack over. I want to get a maybe a double chest. Uh, or do we have barrels yet? Uh, storage chest even? Storage chest? What do we got yeah, on the chest? Uh, colossal chest wall wood. Um, hmm. Storage drawers. So are they under drawer? They are under drawer. Okay, basic drawers. Uh, yeah, that looks more like it. So if we just get one chest, put that away, put this in place, and then we can upgrade this later. It holds 32 stacks by default, so we yeah, that's the storage drawer uh, achievement. So where do we want to put this? I uh, may have to move a lot of this stuff around anyway, but cobblestone for now can just go here, I think, with this wall. So let's get the generator, pop that down, and then put the drawer on top, and it's starting to generate. There it goes. It's not very fast, but it is free. So, and we don't have to actually do anything. We don't have to stand there with a hammer. Uh, cobblestone generator. What does it take for the next upgrade? Uh, just iron, it looks like. And that will generate one block every 20 ticks. Gold is every five ticks. Emerald is every tick. And diamond uh, is a cobblestone block every 10 t What? What? <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not doing that upgrade again. <laughs> Only holds 64 blocks. Um, yeah, so... Hmm, emeralds is something you actually want. In any case, that can just run in the background. So, we've got that going. Uh, where do we need to go for this? Let's get our chest. Uh, it's going to want us for the diamond mesh, but we can't... Well, we need diamonds, first of all. And to do that upgrade, it's, it's suggesting we should, we should actually do the upgrade. I actually need more iron. So that's something we get to. Smeltery we need, but that is going to require more clay. Um, and we know how to make that clay now, but that can, we can be done off camera. And then the nether. I think that's a good place to possibly stop for this episode. We've essentially got free infinite lava just by virtue of this um, being produced. We can make another one of these now, and that does mean you could set it up to just put a hop. Can we make a hopper? Let's get a hopper. Uh, yes, we can. We just need some iron. So I'll we'll make that. If we put a hopper here pointing downwards, it will feed constantly because we can put this on top of that and that will go downward. And then basically we'll just be able to grab lava whenever we need it. Let's check our last uh, upgrade. Fluix and surface quartz blocks. We've had those before. And uh, yeah, we can just keep stacking those upgrades. So yeah, infinite lava, infinite water, Infinite Cobble, all in one episode, and it still hasn't grown. <laughs> Why did I fill that again? Uh, I think I did that off, like, off camera and I shouldn't have. In fact, let me just get rid of it. We shouldn't need it unless uh, unless we do. Yeah, that's one of those things. Anyway, so I'm done for this episode. We've got quite a lot done. And then next episode, we'll probably have to look into more resources generation. And um, yeah, well, we'll see. So if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to like, subscribe, share as you normally would. Otherwise, do let me know in the comments below. Again, it may be a couple of episodes delayed before I can uh, respond to those on camera, but I may well do so in writing below the episode. As always, guys, thanks for watching.